Welcome everyone to another episode of Total Voice TV. I'm so excited. I'm sitting here with an Australian jazz legend. This is Shani Russell, composer, singer, piano player. And I'm so glad that we've got a moment just to quickly talk about jazz singing and all things jazz. And so hopefully we'll answer some questions for you today. Um, enjoy. <laughs> So welcome Shani, um, I have a billion questions for you, um, but let's start with something really simple. What is jazz singing and how does jazz singing differ from maybe other styles of singing like pop? In Western music anyway, jazz is different from other forms of music in that you really have to be, if you're going to be a proper jazz singer, mm -hmm. you have to be hearing the harmony of a song that you are singing mm -hmm. um, because if because jazz is essentially improvisation. Okay. And so if you're going to improvise, even in the smallest way of taking a melody out to a slightly different place, a couple of different notes or a whole different way of singing it, um, you've got to sort of know and hear where the harmony is. Right. And I think that's probably one of the main things with jazz. I mean, there's, there's the swing style, which is completely um, exclusive probably to jazz singing um, but then there's latin and then there's free jazz and then there's contemporary jazz and there's you know the ballads and the all sorts of feels but um it's really about um being able to improvise a little even if you don't do a full scat routine yeah which is improvising without words mm -hmm. if you can do a little word scat we call it or a word solo that is where jazz i think comes into its own yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that's a that's a contentious issue because I know in the music world singers are famous for um, having a reputation of not really knowing a lot about the way music how it works and the theory and uh, and so are you saying to be a good jazz singer you've really got to know some things about the structure of music? Yes, I am actually saying that. I think mm -hmm. it's really important. There are a lot of people. I know there are a lot of singers who are singing jazz as in they learn a song. They learn it kind of how it goes, they've got a good feel, they've got a great presence, their pitch is good, their feel is good, they've learned the songs from the greats, you know, and they can get by, but if you want them to really be a jazz musician singer where they are actually improvising from their own place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in Brisbane you're involved at the Jazz Music Institute for working, teaching singers. Yes. Um, aspiring jazz singers. So yes. what does that look like? What does a, a jazz singer have to learn if they want to get good at singing uh, jazz? Well, they've, they've got to learn the basic the basic standard jazz repertoire. Mm -hmm. They learn um, bebop standards as well, the Charlie Parker tunes and John Coltrane. They learn uh, instrumental pieces as well. So, And that develops their sense of music musicianship because not only do you have to learn to sing those tunes but they have to learn the chords part of their assessment um sections are to be able to sit down and play through you know the all the chords of a song mm -hmm. in whatever fashion mm -hmm. um, they do they're always in keyboard skills class as well so they're learning keyboard and for some of them that's very hard because they've never done any so a controversial question for you. Okay. Why why would someone want to be a jazz singer um, rather than <laughs> I just no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what do you believe that jazz singing can uniquely offer? Well, I think a lot of people love the jazz because they just love the cool vibe of it yeah. and they like the sound of it. Jazz music actually is great for really learning about how music works. Yes. The chord progressions and root notes and thirds and fifths and sevenths and what leads to this and what leads to that and guide mm -hmm. tones and, and, you know, and when they come out, they're going to be able to write, you know, counter melodies for albums and they're going to be able to, or for performances, they're going to be able to write string lines and, and maybe some harmonies and horn parts yeah. so they won't just be singers. 
Don't to come along and depend on the band to keep them afloat and sing a song. It's a deep music education. It is a deep music yeah. education, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, great. Absolutely. So um, if people are watching now and they're thinking that they would like to get better at jazz singing, I mean, what, what would that look like? How would someone get better at singing jazz? Oh, wow. You know, I think transcription is probably the most important thing that you can do, whether you do it in small fragments or whether you learn a whole Ella mm. Fitzgerald performance from where to go. And so when you talk about transcription, are you, are you saying we should write down exactly what you, or are you saying just learn it by rote? Learn, so? it, learn it by ear. Mm -hmm. You know, jazz is very much an oral art passed down. So, so what, yeah. what should we transcribe? Like, where where would be a good place to start? Who would you recommend transcribing? I would recommend transcribing um, Sarah Vaughan. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think they both did, uh, Ella and Sarah both did How High the Moon. Yeah, and, all uh, of Songs me. like that, All of Me, mm -hmm. yes. Um, Anita O'Day has got a couple of really, real beautiful ones that aren't too hard. They've been our great scatters. Then we've got people in our own country. Uh, but we've got Michelle Nicole here, who scats like an absolute dream. And mm -hmm. um, Kristen Barati, she she just has this innate musicianship and she works, and she has worked really hard. So you mentioned <coughs> scat a few times, of course, yes. which is a vocal improvisation with like these nonsense syllables. Yeah. Where do the syllables come from? Well, you know, they've developed over the years uh, you know, it was always sort of, you know, scooby doo doo ba doo zwee da doo ba There's a lot of that going on back in the day. But then it became something that was more of a serious form of someone have, taking a solo just like a horn player would. Mm -hmm. I always say to my students, just go for the music. I don't care if you sing ba ba da ba da all the way through. If you sing a great scat solo that's got shape, rhythm, form, it's harmonically pre-correct yeah. and it works, then I don't care what you sing. Okay. Um, it, it can be anything, you know, there were, there were singers that came a bit later after Ella and Sarah. We had, um, you know, Betty Carter who came along and she, she introduced, rather than the weed, the weed ups and the doo ups and the beep ups and the, and the da da ba da ba das, uh, they started singing the le lo lo, le lo, le lo, mm -hmm. so it's the kind of sound. So it's changed over the years. And so, who are the good artists that we should listen to to, to learn scat in particular? Uh, uh, Ella Fitzgerald. Well, Ella and Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Betty, Vaughan, Carter, Betty Carter, Sarah Vaughan. Sarah Vaughan. Uh, yeah. uh, Betty Carter, um, Anita O'Day. Mm -hmm. um, I love Mark Murphy as well. Oh, well, then, then there's, yeah, Mark Murphy mm -hmm. and Kurt Elling. Mm -hmm. um, Mel Torme. Oh, Mel Torme. Mm. I didn't know that he. He did some duets Mark. with Ella. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful scatter. Mm -hmm. Um Mm -hmm. But listen to the people who are the good name, the, the, the names. Yeah. And you can also learn solos from saxophone players, and you can learn uh, Charlie Piper solo, and you can yeah. learn, a, learn a Lester Young solo, or yeah. Joe Henderson, you know, Joe Pass, and uh, the guitarists, you know, or um, the trumpet players, you know, Freddie Hubbard, Clifford Brown. Yeah. You know, you learn some solos just, and, and literally, so now you don't have any words or any syllables to copy, you've only got... The, the, the notes. Yeah. So you have to work out your way of making that work yeah. as, as much really in the same way yeah. as you can. Mm. Yeah. Now, rhythm and phrasing, uh, they seem to be crucial to singing jazz really well. Definitely. Any thoughts on developing rhythm um, and phrasing? I've got a great um, swing exercise, which just where you just play the, the blues. So we just go... Ba, 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 ba. It's really da -doom, doom, doom, doom. It's like a skimming stone. Mm -hmm. It's moving forward, mm -hmm. and you're ahead of it. You can lag, but you've got. There's got to be this thing inside you that's just like right on top of it. Mm -hmm. And I think again, transcription and learning from the greats. It, 
in detail is how you learn. And even if, if you hear a phrase and you think, wow, that really is an effective phrase and it's just one two bar phrase that somebody sings or plays and you think, I'd like to be able to get that so that it really sits right. Mm -hmm. And so you just get the beat going and you just emulate it and you do it until you've got it so that all the accents are sitting in the right place because sometimes it's not just the notes you sing and in the actual place they sit in the beats, but it's the way you approach the notes and the way you come away from the notes yeah. and onto the next one. The so you could go the on glide. Yeah. yeah, so you could go ba ba da ba ba da ba da. So that's the right notes and it's in the kind of the right rhythm. But if you go ba ba da ba ba da ba ba, so you've got this attack and decay and a little bit of vibrato and Mm -hmm. It's the way you sing it. I call it jazzitude. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of jazzitude, Shani has got a book of jazz exercises for singers. So I will put the details down below. On I actually love the first exercise yeah. on that. Can you show us that? So it's kind of built on the old vocal exercise. It goes. So, uh, Shani Russell, it's been a pleasure to talk to you about oh. all things jazz today. We will put the Thank details you. down below you, how you can connect, shanirussell.com.au. Um, you. And uh, we'll put all the details down for her jazz singers courses. And thank you so much for joining us. Be well, sing well. Bye. <laughs>